Hi, John here. Today is uh, Friday the 19th of uh, May 2017. I'm just uh, on my way up to Waitangi uh, for the Port Fiddy at 5 o'clock, just leaving Auckland. I just finished a uh, writ warrant, 65 pages, so I'm just going to whip through each page, just give a short outline of what it is, but uh, I ran out of time to make a full account of the um, uh, each page. Uh, but I'll do my best, but it'll come out when I come back, uh, I'll make a, a full um, summary of, uh, of uh, each uh, document. And they are um, um, fact, um, evidence, citations, uh, with the seals of uh, King William and uh, also with Maui. Uh, so here goes, we'll go on the first page, uh, the affidavit um, uh, in its form and the um, Crown Corporation um, agents that we are charging in the uh, grand jury, uh, the Moai Crown, King William IV, Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. I'm the Sheriff there and the Magistrate is the uh, four Paramount Chiefs, Bundy Waitai, Manahi, uh, Parapara Mohini, uh, Jim, uh, to be week or two, and also uh, Chief uh, Kingi Taurua, the Taurua, the oldest um, chief of Napui on that marae, to Ngāti Rahiri, and also to the uh, two paramount chiefs that we are connecting ourselves to, Te Ra Waikato Whara Herehere in um, 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 Edinburgh, uh, Scotland, where the Manukau company title was put together with him and with the um, magistrate, um, Lieutenant um, William Simons, 23rd Regiment of the Royal Navy, British Navy, <coughs> and that's the Crown Corporation of King William the Fourth Monarch Sovereign. Land title, the commercial land title uh, that was derived and created by Terawakato Farahirehere Manaka and also William um, Simons. They went through um, uh, Roy and Wood land conveyancing lawyers to make the title legal from there, those chiefs, um, those two chiefs, um, but were. Uh, uh, Te Rawaikato being the um, creator of the documents and the Maori Dictionary um, to make the land certificate of title birth certificate uh, to create the title for New Zealand, the whole country and the world for that matter uh, that we are putting this together for all the native countries in the world from that blueprint, magistrate, court, real estate title under Manukau Company to the Paramount Chiefs here. We're transferring that authority straight to those four Paramount Chiefs that Manukau title, the Moriori Manukau title and with Manahi, Ma, uh, Parapara, Mohini being the closest of the bloodline to the Moriori tribe of Manukau. Those two names go together, Moriori names of Parapara and Manukau are featured right through this country and I have all the record of that with Mohi Manukau, Timati Manukau, Mohi Timati Manukau, the fourth paramount chief connected to Refere for Manukau, connected to Te Waikato for Herere Manukau in Britain, UK, Westminster Parliament Government. Okay, so that's the first page, those people um, that are notified long enough. They have had long enough notice. Now we're in the real court uh, of magistrate. The King's Bench Court is the magistrate real estate of the Maui Crown and the King William Crown equal partnership in a private contract, nobody's business. These documents are nobody's business but the Paramount Chiefs and the Chief of Navy, the First Lord High of the Sea, um, Philip Jones 
um, is our legal partner to King William, uh, the fourth 50 years of Navy service and setting up the uh, New York Stock Exchange before he became king. All of those financial matters are our business and I'm the executor of Mohi Manakao's um, inheritance to the Freemason title that's created in Edinburgh with the Freemasons' main master grand jury court there um, and the titles to these native certificates for the whole world. So that's my position as his administrator of his business in the private. It's nothing to do with anybody else, between, only between me and the last standing Manukau in here in Auckland before he died, uh, is not being succeeded in this commercial private contract sense of legal and, and legitimate documents of title to land and financial instruments. So that's the first page, those people uh, who are liable. If you don't turn up to defend yourself, we make a ruling and that's final. The ruling will be made in that marae with all the information on that page. The second page, number two, page two, affidavits of truth video as statements of fact. You'll notice that we have the citation seal uh, of fact evidence with the Crown and Maui together, with King William and Maui together as being the partnership of these documents, the contract that we are enforcing and forcing on the Marae, the Team Marae, Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court, okay? The land, commercial land owners, we are making that flag, 1834, Declaration of War flag, and um, a state of emergency because of the financial threat to our national interests, our security, our resources, natural resources, that is owned by us and the land that you occupy uh, and rent in long lease terms can be terminated at any stage by these paramount chiefs to our partner in Edinburgh and Westminster. I won't say more about that, so that's the truth. Our deed of oath is the oath deed of truth. That's Moai's uh, oath, as to the Freemasons' oath is the opposite to that. I won't go through that because it's all in there. Number t page three is the citation. My Crown, Manukau Company, UK, fact evidence on the 20th of May 2017. We're swearing to it to link ourselves to that claim and its inheritance to everything derived by the two chiefs, Tilawakato Farahirehe Manukau, for all the administrative um, documents put together to create the title, and with uh, Paramount Chief Hungihika for the military side of protection of our national interests here. We are wanting the British uh, Navy and military to recover all the debts that we put together with the pound notes. You'll notice that I have uh, King Ernest Augustus V, the reigning monarch sovereign uh, of King William's title, defaults to him and we're petitioning him on that marae tomorrow to put into Westminster Parliament on the throne as our oath of office to him, the King. Our oath of office on the other side is to the 13 chiefs who created the 1834 flag with James Busby and <coughs> James Reedy Clinton magistrate. Okay, so that magistrate linked to the magistrate in Edinburgh uh, with uh, William Simons through William Cornwall Simons to Manukau Heads selling Manukau land. Okay, got that? I think you have. So we'll move on quickly through the pages. Everything's in the Masonic Lodge, was Mohi, 50 years of service in there. I've got a whole account of my history with him to claim his title and his inheritance to the membership who joined the Moai Crown. The Moai Crown meaning everything 
involving the king's business in other titles. They're all inside the Moai Crown versus the Crown Corporation, which is not proven. We have proof that chiefs will speak at the Marae, and they are the authority, the ruling self-sovereign authority with this flag of jurisdiction and constitution of its own and a ruling authority of a king equals in same statue, uh, stature as a king. William the third, King William the fourth is the same status as a paramount chief of equal commercial contract and financial investment banking interests. We have equal on a par. We are going to settle the books of the accounts of HM, HM Treasury and the Queen's business with Queen Victoria Trust. We are seizing back into the Moai Crown, King William IV Trust. So we are absorbing in that pound note. You'll see um, King Ernest Augustus with his wife, legitimate, um, Princess Caroline of Monaco, and she's been approved by Queen Elizabeth uh, II as a monarch sovereign royal wedding. So that locks him with us in this continuity of sovereignty of 183 years and two months in May on that Marae. Put that on the record um, in Britain and those who are watching this video to go with these writ warrants, six, 65 writ warrants. You will notice that we are following uh, President Rodriguez Duterte with his writ warrant of demolition uh, and uh, seizure of his lands back uh, in Philippines. So we are following that writ warrant after this Hui up north in the same manner but we have the flag to do it and seize our property the goal that spirit in his land. We'll have to cut a deal with him and his sovereignty under this flag. So that's my job as an executor of this business of the Maui, the Ma Ma Manukau company, registered company in Edinburgh, Britain, UK. So we're going on to page six. And now was the last page of that account of my uh, story with Mahi Manakao and his story is all on videos, six years of videos with him right up and down the country and him standing there talking and making claims and showing me unmarked graves. So that's a him tied to me um, and you can see it's been like that all the way through. So we're going on to page quickly, on to page um, seven, uh, the writ warrant, the, the signing of the writ warrant with the uh, paramount chiefs, the four paramount chiefs there, and uh, an outline of the date of the judgment order. We're making a judgment ruling in a magistrate court, a native magistrate court, straight to the magistrate court in Britain, straight there. <coughs> the writ was issued by the surrogate King William III, St. Patrick's, Papal Bull, Red Chief, Moai Crown, State is in Bay Creditor. So that's part of what the rest of it say. You can see it there. Uh, it's on our website before I forget. Moai, M-O-A-I, power, P-O-W-E-R, dot C-O-M, dot com. Moai, powerhouse, dot com. Go there. The PDF file is sitting right there and you can open that up. And the video, this video will be next to it. You can push the button on the front page. As soon as you open the website, it'll start playing the music. You can turn that off, but you can download the PDF file and print it up and bind it up. Okay, so that's that page. We go along to the properties that we are claiming straight off back against the Crown um, and to debt them against the 970 million trillion trillion pound note. Newton's bill at the moment just for the land is a hundred, a thousand billion trillion pound note. A, a billion trillion pound note. Okay, if you can split that up between you, you'll be doing it all right. So uh, we move on uh, to um, page uh, and nine. Then you'll see um, um, Pomare, Chief Pomare there, 
um, sold the land to Clendon on the left, and that's uh, through Clendon being a magistrate. Uh, and the lands he sold from 18 from 1820 to 1838 to well, 1840 at least. Uh, but we're only concerned with 1830 to 1834 of our flag here when it became the flag of New Zealand. Still is the legitimate legal flag of New Zealand as far as we're concerned, straight to Britain. We are the land owners, the commercial land owners in these documents. You'll see here on this page um, uh, the two chiefs together and uh, William, King William with the eight point star. Everywhere you look around the world, anybody wearing eight point star is the property of King William the Fourth and King William the Third with this contract. It's only a contract means. It's nothing to do with anybody's family or even St. Patrick's family. It is the document that was created by King William the Third to <coughs> act as a rent chief to collect his revenue for his conquered lands from the land occupiers of the leased lands on these contracts. The Gumbans here and around the world have leased the lands of a hundred years or so to this crown king. He made these titles, the Bank of England and the Power Note that we have the right to use as levy debtor instruments against all of you, Bill English, Prime Minister of New Zealand, that Power Notes will be up against you and everyone named in this writ warrant. We're doing the following the same as the President of Philippines using his writ warrant, okay? Writ of control and writ of demolition of anybody in his row. We are similar to that. So we got the church uh, in Tiki Tiki, the first Church of England at 1831. That is my Wanoa title to the birth certificate as being before this flag came along in 1834. The birth B-E-R-T-H of the ship of Captain Clendon, the 42, HMS 42 in Hicks Bay, was the birth of his magistrate ship and then he walks to Whakawhitira below uh, Mount Ikarangi and puts his native court there and puts the birth certificates from that church register B-I-R-T-H, birth, death and marriage certificates from my people on my Wānoa Marae, the Rahui Marae, predominantly ma, ma, my family of Wānoa, the Tahitian side and the Rarotongan, Cook Island side of the Kaikas in Ruatoria on the other side close to Mount Hikarangi. So those go together with Toi Kairaka, we won't go on like that because that's on the map on the right hand side from there. So that's that page, I won't go any further on that. We'll continue down quickly through uh, the next page. You'll see on the top, 1831, Rangitukia. And I'm explaining all of that. You'll see the two mountains there, Hikarangi and Aorangi, is Aoraki. It's still the same as Aorangi on Reku Island, Chatham Islands, where Mahi Manukau and the Manukaus and the Paraparas come from. That's their country. That is their native country, the closest to New Zealand, as being why the British picked their names and our names because of that side of the Moriori, why they were killed right out and left just a few. They are the closest distance to New Zealand, which makes them the landowners, the commercial landowners now, not native landowners, commercial financial investment interests in King's Commerce. So now our chiefs are King's Commerce people on the world stage with this flag free passage through the world. Okay, so we have the uh, church in the photos and page 10, we're on page 10 now in Mount Hikarangi and also the Whakapapa to Toi Kairako. And you see the flag on the Nukutere Waka, that's the Waka to um, uh, Toi Kairaka on Mount Hikarangi, the title uh, to uh, these chiefs that are claiming it. And we see uh, our friend up there, uh, Dion Walker. He's passionate about being on that waka. Good on him because he's our friend and 
he'll be going along the way with us. So we are on page 11 now, the Whakapapa for the whole country, that's what I put together with Mohi Manaka, goes out 500 miles radius, not 200, 500 miles, that's for us to put the continental shelf distance on our title. So we've stretched it out that far on the seabed and foreshore I put together with Mohi Manaka back in 2004, and we started on all of this in 2000. So all of that's that long ago, 16, 20 years altogether, 16 now till then, and another four before that. So it shows you. I was in real estate in that time period when I met Mahi and no titles, how to put them together, and broking in the bank. So I've got all those to put all this together and make myself know what I, I know in that field to apply to his lands and my lands. I learned from his lands, my own lands. So that's what I'm saying. So those titles there, we've got our lot and DP number on it to go to Britain to claim the whole country as one title under that Maui, Ma, 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 Manukau company title and seize all the titles that are fraud. One fraud on Cook Street equals fraud the whole lot. End the world. So the next, um, um, we're on page 12 now, I'll try and skip through it. Uh, we're on to uh, the Whakapapa of uh, Mohi Manukau, uh, Paramount Chief, Te Mo, Mo, Mohi Manukau the fourth and his lineage to the four main tribes and the carving on the left at the top, I won't uh, explain it, I'll do that in another video to explain those four main pillars uh, uh, equating to a king's pillars in, in that royal sense, this is the native royal sense of the parliament bringing, bringing these commercial uh, activities together with the British uh, uh, on the right hand side you see the big circle coming in of the waves of uh, immigrants from other countries and then on the left just above that that's the Farno coming into the Marae which is the centre there so that's how we do it in the middle of those eye is the spirit of Atua uh, we, 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 we have our, our, our beliefs and our gods right up straight up not through a church or a bible we're straight up straight from there that's our spirit of Moai L-O-R-E law which is deeds of truth. We don't not lie as much as what we're looking at today on that side. So we, um, we are, our Wānoa family was uh, um, uh, connected to um, Manukau family, uh, to Rogans, the Judge Rogans in these magistrate courts. That's on there to our both why they chose those two names. There's a big history to it. So I won't go any further. That's the title to the Manukau Company in Scotland. That is the title to Britain, UK, for the whole world is what that is blueprint for the whole thing. Okay? That's why it's there. I've only bought it out now. I never wanted to bring it out because more he was sworn to secrecy of the Freemasons Lodge. And so <coughs> he told me everything over all that period of time. And when he died, he, I had the last word from him of what to do and what to say. So there, I'll leave it there. Well, we're going on to the next page, which is page 13. You'll see the 1831 clearly marked in the middle to the birth certificate of one of the Manukau's and straight before 1831. That says, I was here. The Manukau is saying, I was here. You won't find any of those birth certificates anywhere here. That is the title. And that carving above his head, that's the title. That, that's, that's the native title, is the memorial to this whole world. Okay, with the Maui and that native, to the na native lands, and you link them all together, and that's what you come out with. Okay, so we've got the fact cited here with that citation sealed and locked in time in a bottle for the next few generations and years. So um, you'll see there that everyone else around even in Te Araroa is 1837 because that's when King William died and Queen Victoria came in. That's when the trouble started on the Maori side. So I'm saying clearly 1831 there was none of this rubbish 
of fraud that's gone on. So we're counting for all those dates you see, 1849, 1838, right around 1854, all that period of time people swamped all over our Wanoa land. I talk for myself, the others can talk for themselves. I'm saying our uh, Tupuna Uetā was mastering the Pochikirua Kiwaipu boundary area, which we are claiming back. Everybody inside that is subjected to this title of native and king's connection, paramount and king, equals the same. Okay? In corporate law, we are corporate now. We were native, had no sign of any titles like this until now. We have the same equal status to make the revenue out of who's on the land and who is defrauding our claims to the land. Okay? I want to be clear about that. Right, then we go down. We'll we better skip through this. We'll see that grey, um, yellow photo in the middle. That's um, uh, Okiato uh, Native Court in uh, Kororareka in Russell, Bay Islands. That's where Clinton set up this 1834 plan. Okay, so we'll skip through. Uh, um, we've said enough about that page. We're going straight on to the next one uh, on page 14 with uh, Chris Follinson there as being the leader of the fraud. He's the Attorney General that suggests otherwise how the Crown Corporation behaves, Mis misbehaves. Well, they are the unruly people who follow their law. And so we're here to challenge his law and his self in this writ warrant against them. He can't refute, he can't respond, he can't counterclaim, if he can't do any of that tomorrow, then he has no claim in any court. There is no claim for a judge against anyone making complaints or trying to override something higher. Okay, that's what I'm saying about that. Private land purchases, we're going straight into that where it's the um, um, magistrate courts, that's the Crown Corporation's real estate agents. They are the real estate agents, the Crown ownership of land on our behalf. So they're doing it for us. Right? They're doing it for us. They work for, we're the owner of that commerce. All right, the next page, uh, we're on page 15, is King William's gold coins and all his wealth in gold. All that uh, gold that's missing belongs to him. We have a dragon there, a gold dragon. That's the symbol for the gold in the Queen Victoria Trust that we're salvaging and seizing with this writ warrant back into the King's uh, Trust, King William IV Trust and Maui Crown. Okay, so... Um, we're down onto the next page, which is the uh, carving, and I'll explain that another day, not today, because I want to get on with it and get going. We've got to print this out and bind it up and take it up north. So that's the um, carving there, with the four pillars, and that uh, forms the basis of a parliament to run this country. It's not in the states to run any country yet, but we're running on a dual system of federal government state in Cornwall Park in Auckland. I'm going to be talking about that. That's a federal state government and the other government is a state government which is going to be the four pillars here to run this country from Waitangi where the contract was put together with the 13 chiefs only. They're the only ones who bother to go and get the king's protection and his assistance to protect their lands. So that's what I'm saying. Um, um, clearly, I Mahi wanted his land back on One Tree Hill, Monga KK, uh, and to establish a parliament there, uh, as it was in the old days, the province of Auckland to these Manukau titles. Okay, the Manukau lands that never went to the Scottish people that bought it. And so the switch was on. We won't go into that at the moment. We're moving on to page 17. Uh, we're going into the affidavits again. Um, the Paramount holds the allodial native title, owner of Altia New Zealand. That allodial title had no value of money or, or, or value of exchange of trade in banknotes or, 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 or monetary system. Now it has. Now it has. 
so we go down, we can see um, we're on page 18 now and bowling on through. There we have the two chiefs again, the Paramount Chiefs and the map on the right hand side just indicating our claim. We have a valid legal claim to this whole country and the Pacific Islands as one title. I notice that the, the King of Hawaii will be here and uh, if he talks to the chiefs to come under that flag, we have a king. We have a, uh, a live king, William, uh, King Ernest Augustus uh, the fifth uh, uh, reigning monarch on this line. He has a, a direct uh, inheritance to King William's uh, uh, title, uh, but he has to come through the partner. We have a partnership with King William and he doesn't, but he's still on the uh, monarchy reign to that uh, sailor law forbidding woman to succeed to the throne. Now, while I'm on it, um, Prince um, Prince William is no bloodline, direct bloodline to William uh, the Conqueror or um, 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 the um, uh, King William III or King William IV or King Solomon and his mines. He has no direct bloodline. He has Spanish where our Queen Victoria Trust money is stolen and heaped up there in the Philippines through the King and Queen of Spain and um, transferred uh, to their son, um, the Filipino, but he has no right to this trust. The Queen Victoria Trust, King Itaurua, will sort that out because he's a King Edward and a Queen Victoria direct bloodline. Okay, so that's his department. Manahi is for the uh, Moriori from Chatham Islands, their country, and um, um, <coughs> um, Waitai. Bundy Waitai is for the Cook Islands um, and Maori and um, King Itoro is overall straight to Britain as that claim to the Queen Victoria Trust as co-executor um, with me to salvage it back with this flag. Okay, moving on. Uh, page 20, we're getting through it halfway through or about. Uh, we've got the Queen there and John Key on his Panama Papers is very serious. We're citing him for the Panama Papers why he um, um, uh, resigned prematurely. It's because he was told to get out because he's the, running the bank here and their fraudulent business inside the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court under this Navy flag, this King William IV flag, and this Navy here has been mischievous with the Governor General to defraud us the Paramount Chiefs and our uh, citizens of New Zealand from the money they've been raking out for their own private investment bank interests and not ours. It's clear to see now that the, um, the uh, fraud has caught up with them globally and they're trying to hide it behind a, a whole heap of Muslims that they're throwing all over the place as mixing everybody up and taking their land. So we're going to do our best to uh, put an end to that. And we've got Chris Wilson with his pew pew, acting as though he's a Maori. Well, the Maori word and the Maori patent belongs to the Crown, them, him. They're running the Maori scam business as if they're us, mirroring out us in their Freemasons, gathering information to better themselves. That's their oath, is to better themselves and bugger anybody else. So that's what I want to say about Chris Fennelson and the way he's treating treaty claims as less than 1%. No one's going to, in this Moai business, is going to settle for 1% less. You can get 1% from us on your way out, Chris Fennelson, and all your Crown people after we strip you of all your assets in these red warrants of demolition and control and seizure. <coughs> and possible hanging for treason, as you can see underneath Queen Elizabeth II, treason. That's what you have caused and all the rest of it goes with. We're going on to the next page, which is the um, <coughs> the Hui Assembly of Chiefs at Oraki Marae. When I battle against the, um, uh, um, the Oraki uh, Marae, uh, Ngāti Whātua, that they are the landowners, 
No, they only trusts which are just corporations that are not real. And Mohi was trying to say, John, we go up one tree hill, claim the hill, claim the whole place back as the indigenous native landowner. And so we tried our hardest and they still come up with running all over us. Not anymore. Not anymore. That's what happened to Cook Street uh, when I went into to what Mohi told me to go and get it because it belongs to him on his title. And they failed, the Crown and Lynn's, um, um, failed to put the Manukau name on their titles, the Lynn's New Zealand, New Zealand, New South Wales titles. They're supposed to, by law, under Native Court Acts, insert the name of interests. It doesn't have to be financial interests, but land interests, that where the land came from in the first place. They failed to do that on two times we registered in the Certificate of Title Office and the proof is there. So not anymore because we've got the Paramount Chiefs now to fix that lot up. So we're going on to page 23. Uh, there you have some more information of uh, events of how things happened with the New Zealand Company, um, the White Mother Company and New Zealand Company. The, the Manukau and White Mother Company set up they stole this Manukau title I'm talking about, and we're going to get it back off them. <clears throat> okay, so the next page is a demolition and possession order. That's what we're doing. We're using these red warrants of, in the same format as um, President um, uh, Rodriguez Duterte of uh, Philippines, and we're following that through. Why I put those documents there of the uh, um, uh, way he has set it out and I'm not sure if he's using the Queen's uh, admiralty side of the law or the King's admiralty side of the law. He can come under this Moai Crown King William the Fourth Trust and absorb it under this original King's flag. This is the only King's flag in the world that has the ruling authority of any admiralty court martial law documents. Full stop. <clears throat> we are that partner. We are his private contract partner in a story. So now we've go along and we've got the uh, trillion pound notes. That's on each person that gets in our road. Right? You, get up, you get in our road and tamper with our information like they did on Cook Street. I warned them, you'll get a trillion pound on your note and another trillion for every day that I've been barred from that land and thrown into prison. You're going to get some more on your head. There's 43 of you have stopped this business. You have stopped these Paramount Chiefs business with the King, with Britain, UK. With your own Crown Queen's title. Where's your Queen? She has gone and abandoned ship. She's gone to the EU Parliament and you won't find her in your court. He's, her photo's above the head of the judge, but really, she's not there. No seal from her, no seal from Westminster, and no jurisdiction of authority higher than this way, which is legal now. Okay, that's all I'm saying about that. But that's our levy data instruments, creditor, it's creditor, magistrate, <coughs> over you and over any country in the world where the Queen went to with our flag. And so the New Zealand has a portion of this federal state government set up in uh, Corn Cornwall Park, in Auckland. I've already been there to stack it out with Mohi where, exactly where he wanted to go and we determine if uh, John Campbell, Logan Campbell stays up on top of the One Tree Hill with his ancestors up there dug out and thrown into the flour mill in Helen Clark's where how Helen Clark's house is on top of the flour mill. That's where they burnt them and um, sent them all up in bits. Mohi was alive when he saw them do it. Okay. He was 38 when he saw them do it, up top of One Tree Hill, and nothing he could do about it because they had the guns against them. And he's been battling all the way through. But, however, <coughs> he held the title and didn't tell anyone in the Maori because he knew the Maori was a fake. And it was no use telling them because they didn't know how it worked. That's the end of that. Now they know because I'm telling them so. I don't want to carry this around in my head. I have no secrets. 
and I didn't want to carry it anymore. It was too long since he died in 2008. <clears throat> That's eight years I've been carrying this load in my head, and now you know the load is lessened, and you have the responsibility <clears throat> to own it and pick it up and save yourselves the trouble dealing with these pirates. What this flag is for, pirates. That's what the king gave for protection against pirates on the high seas. You can say they're on high street now and have <clears throat> been there hoodwinking you all, all these years. That's page 26 um, with um, Referefa Manikau, clearly his name on one of the title deeds. And with Rokina, you'll see Rokina in the Maori, written the Maori, that's Rogan. Uh, that's married to his family in the Kaiparos. John Rogan, judge, married Mariah Manakau, and Dick Rogan married um, Horaiti Wanoa in Tiaroro or Tiki Tiki in the church. The St. Mary's Church is the register. And clearly, that's where our titles went into to turn it into money for the stock exchange. William, King William, administered and created. He created that in his 50 years of Navy as uh, land agent. Right, we're going on to uh, page 27 now. That was 26. I'll leave it at that. And uh, the next one is some more about the Manukau Company uh, and their dealings. And then the next one is more the same with um, uh, what happened at uh, Cornwallis and uh, Pupanga. Uh, Manukau uh, Pa site, uh, the Manukau themselves sold it because they knew they were going to get run over by either the French or the British was going to take it anyway. So it was best to go along and play along with them and make a contract and that's what they did. <coughs> and here we go along, we have um, uh, Prince William the fourth and King Ernest Augustus to the right, the first, uh, linked to um, um, King uh, Ernest Augustus in the middle here. Um, as his successor uh, and myself on the right wearing King William the Fourth's photo on my shirt and his eight point star and also his coat of arms. These CIB police detectives, Natalie Flower Dew Brown, arrested me with all that on me, which was the most highly offensive crime act of anyone in this country and the world running their fraud business, hiding the fraud. And she arrested me and locked me up in prison. For that, I still have not had my court case. Now we're having it on Waitangi Marae <coughs> because I never got any justice out of not going to court. And they just rolled it out before I went there to shut it down. Anyway, so that's that. Well, going on to uh, page 30, I'll make more detail on a few things as we go along uh, again in another video another day. So we've got the power note now. I've removed uh, Jamie and myself because she was going to claim the eight-point star, but there was no value in it. The value still belongs to the king. It was uh, only as a symbol of a good Irish man that brought the people together and created a church that they used that church as being innocent of any crime and that's what he was, innocent. They used his innocence in their fraudulent court. And that was the Rothschilds that did that. King William wasn't like that. He was for the people in the common law court. So Queen uh, Victoria uh, married into the Rothschild families and that's where it went all pear-shaped. After King William died in 1837, it went to hell after that and still is in hell until we go back and fix it up. So that's him and Princess Caroline of uh, Monaco, uh, an, a, a, a legitimate couple that has been approved by Queen Elizabeth II as a royal marriage partnership still to this day. So they can be both king and queen as soon as we had the meeting up in the Hui on the 20th of May tomorrow, 2017, and petition them, put them into uh, Westminster as uh, as the uh, legitimate King of Britain, UK, Hanover, New Zealand, the Pacific Islands and the Commonwealth world in 250 countries under this flag. So you can see, you go onto our site moaipowerhouse.com 
and push on the um, PDF file and you'll find these documents there and you'll see him on that site um, as well with this pound note as a instrument to seize 970 million trillion trillion pound notes of value over everything stolen from the King's Bench Royal Revenue Court Magistrate. Okay, so that's that one. And we go along to him again. See, he's got the eight point star, and we've got our sheriff um, there, badge, that wearing this badge with King William on his horse and his ship of Admiralty behind it. That's our seal with his crown on the top, that's King William IV, and his eight point star, and authority of the Admiralty rope around the edge, and us wearing it as sheriff <coughs> in the court to collect the King's royal revenue off the tenants in common law occupying his lands. They are his lands in this commercial um, contract with him. Um, uh, statute law in Westminster forevermore um, locked in this contract. So that's what I want to say about that. That gives us the authority uh, of, of his seal to administer his business. Now we got all the crimes here on this declaration of war um, 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 against uh, the Crown Corporation and the Queen. Declaration declared, declared, declared on the 28th day of June of the year 2002. So from then, all these other acts that we're putting through the court tomorrow on the Queen's bench side into the King's bench side to build this 970 million trillion trillion pound note against all of that. Okay, I'm not going to go through it, but you can read it and ask questions of those who are coming to the hui tomorrow and tonight. Uh, and uh, I'll answer every question for you as clear as day. Okay, I'll do my best. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Page 33 is the title to New Zealand I've marked out. And so that's, um, that's a one title, Moriori, Manukau Company title to this whole country with the first piece of Manukau land sold from that Magistrate Court in Scotland legally uh, through Westminster. Okay, that's under this flag. Under this flag. <coughs> and that's our business. The government here uh, um, will, is subject to this, this flag, veto to what they can do. And they'll decide up at the meeting tomorrow whether they're going to have them there or exclude them out and uh, extinguish their title or terminate their lease and pick it up. I'm suggesting that leaving there as debtors, we'll pick them off one by one. And that's the way to do it. Okay, so we don't have to try and change things right away. Now the next one, we're on page 36, is the Uru Pass where the um, uh, motel, uh, the, the Lotton Point Motel, is our Uru Pa. That's our Wānoa Uru Pa. I'm telling you about this Rahui Wānoa Marae. And that church is the title to that land that those people have just bought in January. You're going to lose it because we're coming after it and you have to get your money back from the Brown Corporation Bill English. Because we're coming there with the sheriffs and the paramount chiefs that claim that that piece of land out of all the lands in this country is going to go back one by one. So that all those Urupas right along there are marked. Uh, and um, Sue Nakora was working for the Labour government in uh, 1986 when she put the 86 constitution together with Sir Geoffrey Palmer and she's got all these titles here along there belonging to our Wainoa family. Okay, So uh, that's because of that 1831 Church of England, St Mary's Church title to the birth certificates is linked to here. No arguments about that. You'll have to, you'll have to go to court and refute what I'm saying on this video as evidence in any court in the world with this flag. Right, we're going on to the next one on page uh, 37, getting there slowly, uh, with the um, um, waka um, of uh, Nukutere and I see Jamie's signature still there, I'm going to have to pull it off. Um, I'll leave it there for now but I'll pull it off. It's, it's removed and Jackie uh, Little Gordon is there in her place as the um, um, CEO of the whole company in Britain, UK, Scotland and New Zealand and the Pacific Islands and the world for that matter. 
So I forgot to take it off uh, as I'd taken her face off because of what happened between us, no longer required. So we go on to the next page, the flag design, where it was hijacked by this pirate government in Wellington. And uh, we'll go on to the next one with the Papa. I won't go through that because that's um, self-explanatory. I don't have to go any further than the Manukau title. But those are titles that lead up to our existence, our um, legacy to our lands. And the next one with the captain of Nukatele, Nukatele Waka. Uh, this is uh, Rapata Ka. He's uh, looking after our administration in the church. It's his family uh, is being right in the Bible in the St. Ma uh, Mary's Church in Tiki Tiki, linked to the St. Mary's Church in Panel, uh, next to the um, Catholic Church. They've married themselves together in deeper fraud. And so we're dealing with that from this birth certificate title, our title, our certificate, our instruments of debtor against you. We're, we're salvaging all that back in one shot against the 970 million trillion trillion pound note. This is our proof. Deeds of truth. Oath sworn to each other tomorrow. And we got the motel here on page 43 in uh, Lotton Point. I make this statement to you. Those owners on that block, Dazel, Gary and Regia Dazel, uh, the sheriff will be coming to see you, Desmond Wainor, and the, and the Paramount Chiefs, and myself. We're coming to reoccupy that property, land, and the building, season the whole lot, and you have to get your money back from the ground corporation. Fraudsters. But we'll deal with that. We will handle that and write out the note for what you are missing. The value of the land is still our business. Our business. The buildings are immaterial. You can take them if you want, but it's too late because we're seizing them as to pay for the debts. Yeah. The debts outweigh the credit on any claim <coughs> against any person when there's a trillion on each pound, each head. Do not interfere with our titles because you'll get a trillion pounds right on your head and you can't prove anything. There's no, no need to go to court because the judge cannot find any evidence to support anything other than this flag. So don't waste your money trying to go to court because the power note will block that off and the power note cheese and our partners in the Navy in Britain over this Navy here that's been defrauding the chiefs and the people of New Zealand with the Crown Corporation, Maori, Iwi, that have been helping them to steal everything. So we've got the church there with the uh, people and the cars there, next one to it, St. Mary's Church, just to tell